Welcome back to Sunday Night Dinners with Deborah. So tonight we're making a roasted red pepper and tomato soup. I make a lot of soup, even in the summer, because it's a delicious meal, super easy, and it's quite economical. I try and have soup once or twice a week, and for extra special soups, I will serve it for Sunday night dinner. The first thing that we have to do for the soup is roast two pounds of red peppers. Now you can do this in a lot of ways. You can cut them in half, seed them, toss them in oil, and roast them in your oven for about 45 minutes. But right now it's too hot to do that. So I'm going to take them out to the barbecue and we are going to roast them on the barbecue and then bring them in, cover them with aluminum foil, let them sweat underneath their blistered skins, and then we can remove the skins and we'll have perfect roasted red peppers for our soup. I'm doing it at the same time that I'm barbecuing for another dinner. So I have a little bit of oil on my red peppers and you just set them on. They are gonna blister and turn black and that's exactly what you wanna do. And I'm also gonna put the fish on for hubby. Okay, now we're just going to turn them over and see they've started to blister. That's what you want to see. It takes a while, but what it does is it blisters the skin off. It's coming along briskly, and they're coming along really nicely. They're ready. They're softened. And they're blistered on all sides. So we just put them back in a bowl and we bring them inside. Okay. So we've brought them inside and now we're just going to cover it up with oil because what it does is steam inside the bowl. In about 20 minutes, we're going to peel the peppers. Take the foil off. And now I have, now they're still pretty warm. But what I'm going to do, ooh. They're still too hot. So I'm going to wait another 10, 15 minutes. So we're trying again. So what we do is you push the core out and you set that aside. Okay, and now I'm opening it up and there's gonna be a lot of juice running out of it and I'm ripping the pepper in half. So you take out the white pithy part and you take out all the seeds. And if you have a, any trouble getting out all the seeds, you can run it quickly under water. And then you just pull off the skin so that you're just left with the meat of the pepper. So they're all done. And this is just what I'm left with, the skins and the seeds. This is going to go in my compost. It doesn't take that long of actual hands-on work, but if you want to avoid it altogether, however, it will increase your costs. They sell roasted red peppers. You can buy them in cans and also in jars. So either do it when you find them on sale or if you get a really good price on them already done. So it's the next day, 
and it's time to do the next step for the soup. The soup doesn't actually take two days to make. It's just I was running my barbecue yesterday for the dinner, so that's why I threw the peppers on to grill those off at the same time, just to save the propane and the time. So into a soup pot, we are going to put those two pounds of red peppers that we grilled off yesterday. And remember, we can all, you could also do it by roasting them in the oven or on top of a gas stove if you have a gas stove. Now, I use one, I think it's 20 ounce can of tomatoes. I use whatever I have. If they're whole tomatoes, great. If they're diced, that's wonderful. But you put it all in. This really is the simplest soup, but so delicious. And I'm putting in a half liter of vegetable stock. If you don't have vegetable stock, you can use chicken stock. Next is three tablespoons of white sugar. Now that might seem a lot for a soup, but you need to combat the acidity of the tomatoes. Give that a stir. And now I'm not gonna put in any salt or pepper until the vegetables have all cooked and the tastes have melded together so we can actually tell how much salt and pepper and the remaining ingredients to go in. So now you just bring that up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, we're gonna drop it down to a simmer and simmer it for about 40 minutes. So it's about 40 minutes later, but our soup is nice and cooked. The tomatoes are all kind of broken down. The next ingredient is two tablespoons of butter and a quarter cup of whipping cream. Now we just give that a little stir, but it still doesn't look terribly appetizing. Now here's where the magic happens, a hand blender. Now this could be done in a jar blender, but if you've got a hand blender definitely is easier. Now just run my spoon through and yes, it is complete. So now I'm gonna taste it to get an idea of how much salt because each batch of soup is different. So I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of salt. And taste again. Perfect. And a quarter teaspoon of fresh black pepper. One final taste. Perfect. Now you just wanna bring this back up to a boil. Anytime you add cream to a soup, you wanna bring it just to a boil and then turn it off right away. But you do wanna make sure that you stir it uh, quite frequently so that you're not scorching the bottom. So I'm just gonna turn this up and bring it back up to the boil. So there you have it. A couple of bowls of rich, indulgent, roasted red pepper and tomato soup served with a nice slice of homemade bread. Perfect even in the heat of the summer. Thank you for joining me for Sunday Night Dinners with Deborah, and we'll see you again.